since February 7th. He played the first game out of the All-Star break. Then Jonas Brodin returned from injury, and Goligoski's been a scratch the last 24. A pad stop for Gustafson on a strange bounce off the end wall. We need you to be good. I think the energy level from that group is specifically Kaprizov is evident. Johnson a shot. Saved by Gustafson. Another rebound. Left three, and Lekkonen makes him pay. Gustafson's left a couple in the slot on rebound opportunities. This time the Avs find the back of the net. Lekkonen puts Colorado in front, 1-0. When it's Rossi on the weak side, he tries to turn and kick. He just misses it, and that's a little too easy from the point shot, too. I think Wild Winger was picked, couldn't get out there. So Johnson able to just unload on this one, and it catches the pad. Stick battle loss from Johansson there. Second chance from Lekkonen, and he puts that one through the five That forces the referee to say, hey, you can't impede him that much. But the clear shot, the difference. Another loose puck at the side of the net. Gustafson hugging the post as the puck winds up in behind. In shots on goal here in the first six and a half minutes. McKinnon comes through center. Ranton and fires, and that's deflected wide. May have caught iron on the way. Merrill takes a long look and feeds Goligoski. Tipped in by Lucchini. Shaw in on the forecheck. Comes up with a puck, and they score! Letary beats Anderman. Second game in a row with a goal for Vinny Letary. The fourth line continues to roll, and it's 1-1. A little confidence can go a long way as Vinny Letary with the last two goals the Minnesota Wild have scored. It's Mason Shaw on the four check. He turns this over. And Colorado is susceptible in this. They get lost in their own zone right here. Plays behind the net. And if you can get it to the slot quickly, there is open ice. Shaw does that. He finds Letary. Boy, have there been chances with these two lines going toe-to-toe -to -toe here early tonight. Yeah, I mean, the vision has been through the roof. Here's Ranton and in, off the post and up and into the netting. And the other way, the abs come up and Ratnan picks this one up in stride. And he... Draw the Minnesota zone. Eric Sinek wins it for the Wild. Brodeen knocked off the puck, however. Loose puck out front and McKinnon comes up with it. Gustafson with his biggest save of the period. Brodeen down in the corner. Brodeen falls. He can't get up to recover in time. The Avalanche get him. And the Erickson X trip in the wild of shorthanded. McCarr to McKinnon. Avs power play, sixth best in the league. This one's battled out of the air and they score. It doesn't take them long. And just eight seconds into the power play, Jonathan Ruan has Colorado in front. And John Hines. Unhappy on the Minnesota bench. No, and, and this Colorado power play lethal, but but it's had its struggles as of late without Val Nachushkin. A little different makeup, but they just win this face off. And again, it's a puck that gets through Gustafson. He's got eyes on it, it hits him in the equipment, and then he has a hard time tracking where it is, pops up behind him. But the pace has not slowed with these two lines as this period has progressed. Here's McCarr left alone and a save by Gustafson. They're the harder working talent, but right now Colorado's top guys are really going to work. Randon. They do have one game at hand against L.A. and a head-to-head -head meeting against the Kings still remaining on their schedule. Ransom plays it across for McKinnon. A shot saved by Gustafson. Ruan sends it out to the line for Taves. Into the middle, McKinnon a drive and they score! It was tipped by Ruan out front. And the Avalanche extend the lead in the opening minute of this second period. He's got great vision, but he finds a soft spot high up in the zone. He sees this looking nonchalantly sliding to the middle. Then he gets into a, a spot where he can just unload on a one-timer. And Boldy's trying to figure out, who do I cover here, the weak side D? And McKinnon takes the shot, but finds Drew in for the tip. Then as it stripped away from behind, and McCarr can't get it by favor. He holds his own again. Zuccarello centers. Erickson at tips. Kaprizov tried to go short side and went right off the face mask. The Wild just can't bury it. Zuccarello wins this battle, and Kaprizov off a 
broken play outside of the post. Kaprizov centers it deflects off escape. Recovered by Zuccarello back to the net. Kaprizov centers. Save Ananen. Rebound chance for Zuccarello. And Ananen makes a big save with 16 seconds left. And a lot of times we see Kaprizov attack right there. And he, he waits. He plays coy. And then he tucks it in on the short side. But he's looking for Erickson Echo. Kaprizov a shot. That deflects to the corner. Boldy tries to keep it alive. Boldy on the half wall. Gets some pressure from Cagliano. Plays into the corner. Zuccarello. Kaprizov. Chisholm walks in a shot. They score! Declan Chisholm on the power play. And Minnesota's back within one. Doesn't kill. He's out on the ice and watch him. He's left side of your screen. He gets aggressive and he's drawn all the way down to the corner. As the way, no reason you should be there. That leaves the ice open for Chisholm up top. He's able to get this pass from Kaprizov, and then he can take his time, get his head up, and look through the screen of Eriksson to that that far side high glove. Here comes Beckman down the wing. Beckman centers Husnadina on the redirect, and a save by Adenen. Here, Matson gets turned, he gets reaching, and then blows a tire as Beckman turns, and he sees Kuzma and make a play from there. Favor gives it to Boldy. They play catch in tight quarters. Boldy. Wanted the seam pass, goes to the side of the net. Erickson Eck, stopped by Adenen. Adenen's glove side, but he wasn't in a spot to attack. This one, he tries to turn around and then locate the rebound. Back to Boldy again. In the middle, Kaprizov, Erickson Eck gives it to Boldy. He has to circle against pressure. Zuccarello fires, tip, save, Adenen, rebound, and Erickson Eck couldn't get a handle on it. They jump on it, extend some zone time, but now X in his office. Out in front. Manson can't find it cleanly in the corner. He does in time to escape Rossi. Out to center ice. Here comes Wood. He has Colton with him. Wood drives in. Trying to go back to the backhand. And Gustafson just did. Erickson Eck. Trying to lose McCarr. And instead he loses the puck. And the Avs start back with Druan. Druan to McKinnon. Scores. And watch, Erickson Eck has a step on McKinnon, and then it's boom, boom, two power strides, and, and he is just blown past Erickson Eck. He can't do anything about it. Faber trying to adjust, but he can't accept the speed of McKinnon, and Druan just has to leave it through there, and a changeup from McKinnon. Goal-scoring IQ through the roof. He sees Gustafson slot. Faber with it to Boldy. Out to the point. Zuccarello just gets there in time. Taves. Has it stripped away. Rossi tried to get it to Zuccarello. Ranton and has it. Fires at the empty net and scores. And Colorado puts this one away. It's 5-2 Avalanche. Avalanche just rimmed that one up the wall. Bounces right over Zuccarello's stick. And They'll remain eight points behind the Kings and the playoffs become... An incredible long shot with a tough battle against Winnipeg staring the wild in the face here on Saturday.